Hello and welcome to the Jonas.net. My name is Donald Jonas and today I'm going to do a tutorial video on how to set up a Jabber instant messaging server using Zential. Zential is a free open source server. It's using Ubuntu 10.4 and I'm using the 64-bit edition and it's the LTS uh, long-term service. And I set it up here in a virtual box a virtual test environment so hopefully you have taken time to watch the essential tutorial videos so you have an understanding of what I'm doing here so let's begin during the initial installation of Zential if you did not install Jabber you can do it through software management once that is done go to module status and scroll down to Jabber and just check it and click accept and save and that's pretty much it it's pretty straightforward and once that is done as you can see it is now checked we go into Jabber and we're going to give it a name I'm going to call this my VM test you can call it whatever you like. You can call it, like in my case, I, got, I could call it the Jonas.net, you could call it whatever.com.net.org, really uh, however you want to set it up. And I'm going to allow SSL, click change, and save changes, and save once again. Now that Jabber is basically enabled, we're going to have to give the users access to that by giving them rights. I have already taken the liberty of setting up two users. Under users and groups, there are LDAP users slash Samba users, Donald and Test. And now the Jabber uh, option appears. Enable, change, and I'll make this user, Donald, an administrator. Save changes. It's very simple. Zential is a very straightforward interface. It's a very uh, user friendly and go back in again and we'll go to test I need to set up two users otherwise I won't have nobody to chat with when I do the demonstration I'll be chatting with myself I guess that's no good and that's it and that's pretty much it I am going to log out right now I've had a couple of users ask me uh, they emailed me at the Jonas.net how do I add an LDAP user or you know a Zential domain user to the administrative group to be able to log into this administrative console? Well, that's relatively simple. Let's go into your console. Uh, go in a super user and just run a simple command. Add user, the name of the user, and the group. And that's it. Now that user Donald that um, we set up with Jabber now should be able to log in the administrative console using his domain sign-on. I should say my domain sign-on. See, very simple. This way you can delegate responsibilities of the administrative console to other users. Slide this out of the way. Okay, the two desktop environments I'm going to be using here is Windows 7 64-bit. The name of the IM client is going to be Exodus and the other desktop is going to be Ubuntu 12.4. I'm using the LTS 64-bit edition and the name of the IM client is going to be Pigeon. Uh, you can also use Empathy. Empathy is a wonderful really well done uh, IM client. Uh, it comes down to personal preference now with your own IM server it gives you the ability to control your chats within your business environment instead of using maybe a social media type environment some of the more popular ones they go outside your network and you don't know who your employees could be chatting with and you know it's unproductive time the nice thing about having your own IM server is it's within your environment it makes it convenient if you're talking on the phone or in a meeting that way you can get your point across to uh, someone you have to communicate with in some fashion I am is an excellent way of doing that now this Exodus give you the link here 
I'll have it posted on my website. I'll post it here under the Jonah's Favorite links. Let me just put the link in for right now. And as you'll see here in a second, it's under the uh, GNU license, so it's, it's free to use. Downloads, you can download it right there. Pretty easy. Uh, you can use Pigeon 2 on Windows. I just prefer Exodus. I think it works really well. Lots of plugins. I'm just going to put a shortcut on the desktop. And just pretty much run the wizard, except the defaults. And that's it. Now we just need to configure it. Jabber ID. This one is going to be Donald. At. And remember we called the domain my VM test. And my pat my domain password. And we'll save that. Advanced resource. I usually give it to user's name. And uncheck this and put in the name of your server. I happen to have a DNS record created for this name, or you can just put the IP address in. And click OK. You're going to get this pop-up saying, Message logging is now performed by plugins. Please enable a login plugin to regain this functionality. Uh, we didn't install any plugins. If you want to, you can. Uh, that's all under you know your personal preferences. I'm going to rename the profile. I'll just call this test. I am. Okay, let's click on it. If you've ever created a self-signed certificate, you know what this is. It's just basically uh, letting you know that it doesn't match the name. It's pretty common. Uh, just click allow, always allow this SSL certificate. And there, Donald's connected. Now we'll set up Pigeon. It's a relatively simple process. And we will configure Pigeon. We will add an account. And under Pigeon, you're going to use the protocol of XMPP. Username, this one's going to be test. Domain, which will be the same. Resource will be test, the user's name. And of course, the domain password for this user. Under advanced, uh, I'm not going to set up any kind of proxy file transfers. The name of the server, once again, was my VM test. That's pretty much it. Close out of it. They're both available online. Just do a quick little test. Uh, add a contact, a Jabber contact. The name of this user is test. Hit OK. Get the pop up, authorize. You can give you know aliases and add them to a group, whatever. And then accept. And that's pretty much it. And you have the options to you know under uh, say for instance you want to put your presence as a way or extended for this client. And if you want to do it for your Ubuntu client, you can do it right here. And we can send an IM. It's pretty cool, pretty straightforward. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Thank you for visiting thejonas.net and have a nice day.